Hello, Poke Fight Club. This is Tisa125, and here I've got you guys, um, a fifth generation Challenge Cup battle against, uh, yet again, Diego, because Diego is the only one that gave me a battle. Though this ended up being a really good Challenge Cup battle, um, there's gonna be no team preview because Challenge Cup, uh, teams are completely random, you have no idea what you have. And, um, let's just start off this battle. So, um, I get to lead off the Victory Bell and he gets a Letty, uh, and here I decided just like teeter dance, like confuse things, because confusion hacks, you know. And then I go into Quagsire, uh, thinking I'll be able to scare off this heat ran uh, with an earthquake, because I was able to get an earthquake. So um, I went to the whirlpool, predicting a switch, but um, no, he doesn't switch, so he just toxics me, and then I'm just gonna kill him off with the earthquake. So um, Quagsire is toxic, which isn't preferable. But uh, the man key has metronome roar nose pass stuff, so I go into Gapagrigus, um, thinking that this man key is going to have some type of fending move, but he just keeps on metronoming. So I feel safe going for the uh, substitute because it's completely random, and my only attacking move, unfortunately, is Astonish. Um, so I'm gonna have to keep on Astonishing, and here I just go for flashes, and here <laughs> he gets Spore. Which uh, I found really disappointing because Sport is an excellent move to get with Metronome, but I was behind a sub, so no sleep. And he just keeps on metronoming, which I'm not really sure why. Um, it's kind of weird. So now uh, Tornado comes in, I flash on uh, the switch, but flash doesn't matter because he has Aerial Ace, and as Tornish is. <laughs> It's doing nothing. I just don't want to switch because I have a sub up. So, go for the flash again for no particular reason, and then I go into Nose Pass to resist the aerial ace, and um, he misses the hydro cannon, which is huge because I'm able to get up a sub now, and if he hydro cannons, um, I'll just be able to get more rollout turns. Uh, his Kafakrius has Iron Defense. Yes, he also has an Kafakrius. It's it's kind of unfair. Um, but rollout is just going to keep on getting buffed, and here, um, I, th I think eventually I'm actually going to get the rollout crit. Uh, I might be wrong. Uh, here is his ominous wind crit that also gives him the boosts, but um, smackdown crit right there, um, which is going to ignore his defense boosts. So I feel safe going to victory bell now and killing off his Kefagrius with leaf storm. Um, this is an interesting thought to narrate. Uh, Mankey comes in, and, um, I, I don't want to stay in, because I am minus two. So, he, um, shows Flame Burst. Um, and then Metronome Dig. So, um, uh, he's going to miss his dig because of Flash. And I'm just, like, Flash Flinch, even though I'm slower. And then in there he shows overheat, and I know I cannot leave Victory Bell in anymore because of that overheat. So uh, he kills off Viking Vagarius with the metronomed gear grind. So going to Quagsire now, just as like death fodder, I guess, and Earthquake on the Ladyba. That's what I thought would happen on the heat round, but nope. And then there's an attract on my vanilla. I just don't want to risk the hacks. And Ladybug has the bug bite, and my Sandile misses the Stone Edge, which is also pretty huge, because that would have been a clean kill on the Ladybug. So now I have to go back into Vanilla, oh, the Blizzard will hit and kill, no, it doesn't kill. And, um, switch out because of the Tract again, and now Quagsire is going to have to eventually kill on this Ladybug with a Whirlpool, um, and then, you know, as you're going to see, Whirlpool is going to miss, and I'm like, ugh. So here, what I do is I defense curl knowing the dig's going to happen, which will let me survive this dig and kill off this Ladyba. So I'd, I'd like to say that's pretty good prediction skills going on. And then Vanilla comes in on this man key. Um, I know I have to hit this blizzard. No! Overheat. Um, he's at minus special attack now, so I have to go into victory battle now that he's lower on special attack. He's going to metronome, um, not wanting to make his special attack go lower. And I teeter dance the right horn as it comes in. Leaf Storm kills the right horn dead. And now uh, the man key comes back in. Uh, I'm gonna fodder off my vanilla to the overheat, so um, it will be at a low special attack because man key has a very bad special attack. I just don't want to take a neutral special attack um, one. So it's hooded out. I know his aerial ace, 
I'm teeter danced, so I know I'll be able to get three stockpiles up, no problem, against this Totodile, because early aces aren't really going to do that much. So, um, my, my idea is with plus three, uh, special defense, I will be able to take an overheat and kill off the Mankey with some Leaf Storms. So, I missed the first Leaf Storm on the Totodile. Uh, it's okay, this Aerial Ace is only doing 50%, it's fine. 